okay so we are dividing 4544 by 64 we write the division uh, we write the dividend on the right side of the bucket okay or on the correct rods so that the unit digit falls on the unit rod and then we write the divisor on the left side of the bucket okay so the divisor it's a two digit number it's 64 but we are not going to need the table of 64 to do this division we only need the table of 6 to begin we are going to compare the highest place digit of the dividend and the highest place digit, digit of the divisor okay so 6 and 4 4 is less than 6 so we are not going to do 4 divided by 6 we are going to take 45 45 divided by 6 so 6 times 7 42 we can take that as quotient 6 times 7 okay so from 45 we need to subtract 6 times 7 42 okay 45 minus 42 that's what we are doing okay done now we are going to subtract the product of 4 and 7 okay 4 and 7 that is 28 from 34 so 34 minus 28 okay so that was one cycle of division in one cycle of division we do a division okay and then we multiply the divisor and the quotient we subtract that from the dividend then we multiply the uh, multiplier the unit a uh, digit number of the divisor with the quotient digit and that we subtract from the dividend again so that is one cycle of division and it gives us the quotient digit okay that gives us the first quotient digit now we have 64 that means we are going to start the cycle again so last time our starting rod was the fourth rod in every cycle of division it's going to shift okay so now the starting rod is the third third rod and last time uh, we took two digits we did 45 divided by uh, 6 so we are going to take two digits again okay i mean digits over two rods so it's 06 okay 06 06 divided by 6 so quotient is 1 so from 6 we are going to subtract Six times one six. Now a pointer is here. Next, we are going to multiply four and one. That is four. So from zero four, we are going to subtract four, and we are done. We get quotient seventy one. Okay. Next problem. We are dividing. One thousand one hundred eighteen by twenty six. To do this uh, division, we are not going to need the table of twenty six. Okay, we are going to need the table of two. And six, we are going to take use as a multiplier. Now, comparing the highest place uh, digits of the dividend and the divisor. One is less than two, so we are going to take eleven. Okay, two digits we are going to take. So eleven divided by two, the quotient digit can be five. Now, from eleven, we are going to subtract two times five, ten. Okay. Now our pointer is on the third rod. So next, from eleven, we should subtract the. Product of six and five. Okay, so six times five, it's thirty, which is too big for 
11. So we cannot continue taking 5 as quotient. We need to adjust that. We are going to make it less. Okay. So we make it 4. Now when we uh, adjust the quotient, okay, we make it less. We are going to add back 1 times of the divisor to the dividend. 1 times of the divisor, it's 2, okay, 1 times 2. So, we are going to add it back to the dividend. Now, we are going to continue. We are going to continue. Uh, so, multiplying the multiplier, 6 and the quotient digit. So, 6 times 4, it's 24. This time, we can subtract 24 from 31. So, 31 minus 24. We are using the 10 pair subtraction rule. Okay, done. Now, that was one cycle of division complete. Okay, we are going to start over. This time, our starting rod shifts to the next rod, right? So, it's the third rod. So, 0, 7. Okay, last time we took two digits. So, we are going to continue to take two digits when we do the division. So, we are taking 0, 7. Now, 0, 7 divided by 2. Quotient can be 3. So, from 0, 7, we subtract 2 times 3, 0, 6. Okay. Now, we have 1, 8, 18. From 18, we need to subtract 6 times. 3 again. So, 6 times 3, it's 18. Okay. So, that is another cycle of division complete. Reminder is 0 and we have got quotient 43. Okay. Next, 6250 divided by 25. Now, Comparing the highest place digit of the dividend and the divisor. This times the dividend digit 6, it's greater than 2. So, we are going to take 1 digit. So, 6 divided by 2. The quotient can be 3. Okay. The quotient can be 3. Now, from uh, 6, we need to subtract 2 times 3. 6 so 0 2 from 0 2 we need to subtract the product of 5 times uh, 5 and 3 so that is 15 now uh, 15 it's too big for uh, the subtraction okay to uh, so we are going to add back we are going to adjust the quotient let's make it 2 okay let's make it less Let's make it 2. Now, we are going to add back 1 times of the divisor to the dividend. Okay. Every time we adjust the quotient, we need to adjust the dividend also. Now, it's 22. From 22, we will subtract uh, the product of the product of 5 and 2. Okay. 5 times 2, it's 10. So, 22 minus 10 done okay now that is one cycle of division complete okay we are going to start all over again last time our starting rod was the fourth rod this time it shifts to the third rod okay this is our starting rod we are going to take one digit okay we are going to take one digit that doesn't mean i mean uh, like if we were to take two digits so like we would have taken these two so we are taking one digit but here we have one uh, bid there okay on the left side so we are going to take 12 okay now 12 divided by 2 12 divided by 2 the quotient digit can be 6 now from 12 we subtract 2 times 6, 12, okay, 0, 5. Now, we can't 
subtract 5 times 6 30 from 0 5 so we are going to adjust the quotient again we are going to make it six uh, make it 5 okay and we are going to add back 1 times of the divisor to the dividend okay now it's 25 so from 25 we will subtract 5 times 5 okay so another cycle of division complete and it gives us zero reminder and quotient is 25 next 3026 divided by 34 now again we don't need the table of 34 to do this division we, are, we only need the table of 3 okay now comparing the highest place digit of the dividend and the highest place digit of the divisor okay it's equal now so when it is uh, equal or the dividend is less than the divisor we always take two digits of the dividend to do the division so we are going to do 30 divided by 3 okay and the quotient digit can be maximum 9 so let's take 9 now from 30 we need to subtract 3 times 9 so 27 we are using the 10 spare subtraction rule to do the subtraction now we have 32 so from 32 we need to subtract 4 times 9 4 times 9 36 that is too big for the subtraction so we are going to adjust the quotient digit again we are going to make it 8 and we are going to add 1 times of 3 to the dividend okay so we are going to add 3 here Now we have 62. Now 62 minus 4 times 8, 32. So 62 minus 32, that's what we are doing. We are using complements for this. Okay. Now that was one cycle of division done. Now we are going to start all over again. And our starting rod shifts to the next rod right so and we are going to take two digits because that's how we started so we are going to take 30 okay now 30 divided by 3 quotient digit can be 9 from 30 we subtract 3 times 9 27 now we have 36 so 4 times 9, 36. Okay. Now remainder is 0 and quotient digit is quotient is 89. 